So this is a pretty exciting time in the life, life cycle or lifespan of some of the sharing economy companies. And I think in particular, it's fairly well known that Uber and Lyft and Airbnb will go public um, quite likely in 2019. That's not necessarily a surprise. Uh, what I think is really particularly exciting, um, and it's something I've been advocating for for a while, but didn't know if it would actually come to pass, that both Airbnb and Uber have written letters to the SEC requesting for, on an exceptional basis, the ability to offer shares to their hosts and drivers. This is huge because what we're looking at is potentially a much more equitable distribution of wealth because thus far, you know, most successful sharing economy companies are built on a traditional VC model where in the event of an exit, an IPO or an acquisition, the founders, early employees and investors will benefit. But those people that built the platform that really make it valuable, drivers, hosts, and so on, they don't share in that upside. And I think there is a growing sense that in this new economy, structures are different, but your responsibility, your ability to do good business actually looks very different and you have a kind of responsibility, certainly if you want to be best in class, to share that wealth, I mean, sharing economy, sharing the wealth with the people who actually make it valuable. So that is incredibly exciting because that's something that wouldn't have happened 50 years ago when we were in a much more employment-based model. But also I think, my hope, is that this is really the tip of the sphere and that this way of thinking and allocating wealth, potential wealth, um, becomes actually much more of the norm for any company that's in the platform economy, certainly in the gig and freelance economy, where they have a distributed talent network, none of whom are necessarily employees, but all of whom make the platform valuable, that they can all be small owners of the company as well.